This is a canoe, or kayak to be precise, and it's rubbish because it doesn't have an engine. But where there's a will, there's always a way. This is the world's first engine-powered canoe. It took two and a half years to make, and it's got a jet at the back, powered by the world's flattest two-stroke motor, which sits here, right where your bottom goes. So, where ordinary canoes can be overtaken by ducks, this one blasts across the water like a jet-propelled eel. This amazing machine is the brainchild of Sean Baker, nine times British whitewater freestyle champion and holder of four world records, including one for kayaking 65 feet down a sheer vertical waterfall. Now, obviously, we wanted to find out if this jet-propelled canoe kayak is any good, which is why we've come here to Iceland. In fact, we've come to one of the most incredible parts of an already generally amazing country, the Ice Lake. It's formed where a giant glacier meets a lagoon and then breaks apart to form a sea of, well, massive ice cubes. So, we're going to have a race, starting at one end of the lake and running roughly two miles to the finish line at the bridge where the lake meets the sea. I shall be using the roads along the edge. Now, those roads are very tough and Icelandic, so I need a vehicle that's very tough and Icelandic. It's called a Tomcat, and it's what happens when you take British engineering and garnish it with Icelandic levels of lunacy. It's got plastic body panels for super lightness, a 4-litre TVR V8 for super power, and a Range Rover chassis for super strength. Put all that together and you've got a one and a half ton 4x4 that can outrun a Subaru Impreza rally car. So Sean, talk to me about danger. I'm presuming there's, well, quite a lot of it. Well, when we're bombing around, the wake from the back of the boat's obviously snapping off little bits of ice and that starts to float in the water. And if that gets sucked up in through the intake grate on the bottom of the boat and jams into the prop, it's just going to cut the engine out. And of course it doesn't float, then which isn't good. That's and this isn't going to help. No, I'm going down. So really, the biggest danger facing the jet-propelled kayaker is ice. Is ice. As I sat at the start, I still didn't quite believe that a jet-powered kayak would work. It did. It's a bad start. I'm away now. The car is sashaying around. It's like a fine layer of stones on volcanic ash which is very interesting on a geography field trip, but bloody scary to drive on. I've had to come such a long way from the lake now to find a path. He's got to go so much less distance than me. Sean has his problems too. He's negotiating a maze of floating ice in search of open water, but the ice is constantly shifting and blocking his path. Basically, if there's ice, he's had it. I hope there's ice. Sean 
must be tiring. His buttocks are being roasted by the engine and the constant course adjustments are straining his arms. I'm right back down by the water again. Where's an iceberg when you need one? Honestly.